as you're watching this video right now, your social apps might know your exact location within a few meters, who you hang out with, when you are awake, when you are going to bed, which websites you visit, and you agree to it without noticing. It's not malware, it's five default settings. Stay with me for the next few minutes and you'll shut them down one by one. A friend told me they mentioned the brand out loud and then saw an ad. Spooky, right? But here's the truth. You don't need a hidden mic for hyper-targeted ads. Your location at a store, your contact graph, your online activity and your active now status are often enough to triangulate what you will click next. Social platform default to share more because more data equals better targeting. But you control the dial. Now open up your phone settings and get ready to follow along. Our first setting is location and precise location. What it leaks is basically where you are, where you go and your routines. Like if you are at home or at work or hitting the gym. To take care of that, go to settings, privacy and security and location services. Tap on each social app, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Snapchat, whatever. Set allow location access to while using the app or ask next time. Turn precise location off unless you truly need it. Bonus tip over here would be under the same tab of location services, go to camera and set location access to never to stop geotagging your new photos. Think of location like handing out your house keys. Do your relatives really need access to your house 24 seven or only when you invite them in? Setting number two is contact sync and address book upload. What it leaks is everyone you know, their number, email, and how you are connected with them. Go to settings, privacy and security, contacts, and toggle off for social apps or app that you think do not need access to this sensitive information. For example, I don't want perplexity to have access to all my contacts, so I will just simply disable it. Make a quick gut check. Does an app really need your entire address book just so you can follow three friends? Moving on to our crucial and vital setting number three, microphone and camera permissions. What at least is your voice, background sounds, and visuals if granted broadly. Go to settings, privacy and security, and scroll down to microphone, toggle off for all the apps that don't need it. Keep it to while using the app wherever possible. Bonus tip for iOS users, watch for the orange or green dots if they appear unexpectedly, ordered that app right away. I recently ordered my phone and found out two photo editors with mic access. Why? I have no idea. Audit completed and I toggled them off. Setting number four is activity status and read receipt. What it leaks is when you are online, how fast you respond and your daily online rhythm. The only downside to this activity is you won't be able to see the status of your friends as well when you disable it. But if you value your privacy more than keeping an eye on your friends, then you should disable it. If you're using Facebook Messenger, open Messenger app, go to menu, and click settings, click active status and set show when you are active to off. If you're using TikTok, go to profiles, setting and privacy, privacy, active status and turn that to off. If you're using Twitter, go to profile, setting and privacy, privacy and safety, direct messages, show read receipt and turn that off as well. In LinkedIn, go to profile, settings, data privacy, scroll down to messaging experience click on read receipt and typing indicators and turn it off. Also in settings, visibility, scroll down and click manage active status, set it to either to your connections only or turn it off. Our fifth and last setting for this video is ad personalization and offsite tracking. What it leaks is basically your browsing, your app activity and interest across the web used for targeted ad. Go to settings, privacy and security, tracking and turn allow apps to request to track to off at the top. This will make all the apps to stop tracking your activity across application. Or you can also deny tracking per application, it's totally up to you. Now under settings and privacy and security, scroll down to Apple advertising and check personalize ads to off. Please note that you will find these options to disable in multiple social media application under ad preferences or ad personalization option. So in just five minutes, you just shut off exact location, your social graph, unnecessary mic cam access, online status and cross app ad tracking. That's a huge cut in your data exhaust. And here's the rapid way to grasp it with house model. H stands for home or location, which you only share when you open the door. O stands for Outlook or Contacts, 
Don't hand out your entire address book to the applications. U stands for utilities and mic and camera. Keep them off until you need them. S stands for status or activity. Your porch light doesn't need to be on for everyone. E stands for economy or ads. If data is currency, spend less by limiting personalization and partner tracking. Drop a comment with the one toggle you were most shocked to find on. I read them and update future videos based on your feedback. And if this saved you some privacy, hit that subscribe button and like the video. It will help me a lot. Next step, I'll show you how to lock down your DMs from phishing and scams, plus a 60 second checklist to spot a fake friend request. Don't miss it. I'm your host Ethical Caps and I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay secure and take care.